Chappies Crypto here with a, another video. Uh, the focus in this video is about how to link Tradovate to TradingView so you can actually do on-chart trading uh, future contracts. So if you're not familiar with Tradovate, I've done a whole series of videos about how to use the Tradovate platform. Um, they've got, you can actually use the platform through their website or you can also download their app. They've also got an app which works really great as well. Uh, one of the limitations though that I find with the Tradovate platform is if you're familiar with TradingView and you've used it a lot, there's an enormous amount of indicators and other features you can do within tr TradingView. So I wanted to see if there's a way to actually trade from TradingView directly through to Tradovate. And you know, fair, and it's fantastic to share with people that there actually is a way to do that. So I wanted to share that process with you, how to link the two together. So first and foremost, you need to go into your Tradovate account, which I'll show you where to go. So if you come into Tradovate, you can just go to the website, um, press login, and it doesn't matter which, I'm, I'm gonna go into my live environment. I only have a fairly small trading account at the moment. It's twelve hundred odd dollars in that trading account. However, all you need to do is you need to go up to the option, or you need to go into your settings, because we've got to turn on the feature to allow us to link Tradovate to TradingView. So you need to go to add-ons. Add so add-ons is just here, and you'll see here under add-ons is this section here, TradingView costs an extra $9.99 a month to have this feature turned on uh, but with this feature and they'll I've, I've already purchased it for mine so there'll be an option that just says buy it'll ask you to this is are you sure you want to do this once it's activated you're done in regards to your settings within trade eight and so from this point on to be really honest with you um, you can actually close out of this and you don't actually need to use trade eight again uh, in regards to your day-to-day -day trading um, what I, I really like the performance center within trade eight so I occasionally come back into trade eight to look at the performance center but uh, for the purpose of this I just want to show you that once you've done that within trade eight you can actually close out of trade eight and you can come over to trading view now um, so I'm currently looking at the NASDAQ micro e-mini contract for March 2022 expiry I'm not going to go into any significant details on why that particular ticker but if you want to know um, how I found that one um, we're just looking at MNQ which is the the ticker for for the micro e mini for the nasdaq and we're in, and i'm choosing the march contract there's there's other videos explaining how um futures contracts works in regards to the naming conventions i'm not going to go into that at the moment but for the sake of this video this is the contract we're looking at you can't use the continuous contract i'll just i might as well make a point of that when you're looking at futures contracts You'll also notice in Trado in Trading View, which is actually a really handy feature, particularly if you're doing some back testing or something like that, they've got this option here, which is actually a continuous contract, which really means that you can, you know, go back over the last month and trade a particular strat, you know, back test a particular strategy or just um, practice particular things. The downs, the problem with that though is that's not a real contract, uh, so you can't actually trade that with real money. You actually need to choose a particular contract. I'm currently trading the March contract because it's got the highest open interest currently. Um, but you know, towards the end of March, I'll be switching over to the June contract, I'm sure. So, but just to be really clear, that's the contract we're working with at the moment. So to link the two together, I did. If you've looked at my forex video about how to link Oanda, uh, it's almost exactly the same process. So you go into your trading panel, which was down the bottom of the screen, trading panel. And if you look through the options that are there, TradeVate happens to be one of the top picks there. Press connect. Um, I've had a previous session running. And for me, it's probably gonna log me straight in, which is great. Now, if, you've, if you get a warning up, what you might find is the first time it'll do, it'll actually ask you to authenticate. And if you've got dual factor authentication turned on within TradeVate, what will happen, it'll come up and it'll actually say, it'll give you an error um, saying that it needs to authenticate you. It'll send you an email, which you need to go into that email and approve it for that session. It, it will then most likely ask you to open up your authenticator app within your phone or your whatever you use for dual factor authentication. Do that and then you'll be able to log in. So don't stress too much, but um, I often have to do that because obviously my computer, if it changes, I if I change location or change IP address and try to it's a highly secure platform. It's always making sure that you're the right user. So now we've actually linked this. Two things to note, I'm currently looking at my demo account. So it means that it doesn't really matter what I do in here, obviously. And obviously my account balance is artificial, which is ridiculous because I'm never going to trade with 50 grand at the moment. However, uh, if you want to look at my live account, you can click on live account 
and it'll come across here and it'll show you the current live balance so if i were to place a trade with this it'll be placing a trade with real money um, i'm not going to do that because i don't typically trade at this time of the day so we'll go back to my demo account super super simple to switch between the two which i think is fantastic and let's go and place a trade so how do we do this so i'll just leave that panel open for the sake of of this particular tutorial however if you come up to the top of the screen here i've, I've paid i've paid zero attention i've got no clue what the market is actually doing um, so i'm not really going to spend too much time except for the fact that it's possibly going to go down um, so if i press right click and if i were to there's, there's you always have two options when you place an order so you can either place an order at market price or you can place a limit order for the sake of this we're going to place a market order so it doesn't really matter where my cursor is at the moment if i press a right click and go to trade and you can choose these quick options here but i find this is more useful to come in to create new order so if i go to create new order just note that you can move this to the side of the screen uh, and also just a special mention i'm using the trade trading view application rather than the trading view website so I highly recommend using the trading view application rather than the website um, but when i've got the when i pressed trade and create new order it brought up this order window you can move that around so i like to move it to the side so it gets out of the way of where the current candle is and I'm currently looking at the 15 minute time frame. We might actually drop that down to the one minute time frame actually. And I'll just reset the chart again. Because it'll probably change the type of order I place. But anyway, um, so I'm looking at this and saying, you know what, let's do a let's do a sell. So we're gonna do a short. And we're gonna do a market short, and we're gonna do it just with one contract. So we're looking at the micro e mini, so one contract, press take profit. I'm just gonna set the take profit and stop loss by clicking those buttons and the thing i really like about this is this figure here is how many ticks that you're expecting the price to move and it will then estimate your possible profit and how much you're possibly risking uh, I, I love that feature within um, trading view it's a really handy feature so i'm just going to place that order now press sell let's just place the market order for us you'll notice it's automatically set our buy our stop our stop loss at the top here which is 200 ticks away and down the bottom here we've got our market market or the limit order to take us out and so that's to take profit if you wanted to refer it in that in that way as well um, the cool thing about trading view is the fact that you can just drag these orders around so if you want to move your stop loss up nice and tight it's just a matter of dragging it and say we'll just drop it there just above that particular um, price area it comes up here and, and it just asks you are you sure that this is what you want to do as soon as you press modify automatically we'll send that order through to try to vote as your trader pl training platform and the order has been adjusted similarly if you want to adjust your target or you take profit let's bring it back up here press modify done it's a really cool simple simple to use if you actually just wanted to close out your stop loss and not have one you can just cancel that cancel that and it won't affect the original order down the bottom of your screen you'll see you've got some options here we've got open positions so that's a current it shows us a current cumulative profit or loss figure um, if you click on the orders button this will actually show you your working orders so that's my um, my take profit and this is a stop loss and it's showing you um, that they're currently working orders in the system so let's just say we'll go click back on the positions again for a second let's just say we wanted to close this order out there's, there's a few ways to do it you can either press the x button down here or you can press the x just there which will close it as well um, so you'll also note if i right click on this it gives us we can also close a position this way and it gives you the option to reverse position so if you just feel like the trade is not going your way and you want it to reverse position you just do that and it will actually um, close out the current position open a new position in the opposite direction um, it's not something i typically do personally but anyway it's an option that's there so we're going to close that out now let's just see what happens close position and done there you go so that's how we did a short order as a market order um, what i'm going to do now is i'm going to show you how to obviously if you're going to place a long it's exactly the same process we're just choosing buy rather than sell so this time though what we're going to do is we're going to place an order with multiple um, contracts so we'll do a create new order this time here we're going to buy we'll do a buy at market and let's just do an order for say 10 contracts just press buy there you go let's just place that order for us now if you're going to um 
take partials, say for instance this order has come up to a really good spot and you're feeling like, you know what, I think it might continue but I just want to lock in some profits or lock in or you know, t take a bit of risk off the table and how do you close part of the position. So it's a pretty simple process. The, when you're looking at this particular um, piece of information here, that's the amount of contracts we've currently got open. So we've got 10 contracts that we're currently in control of. Now if I want to adjust that, what you need to do is you need to bring up the order panel. So the order panel is this icon on the right hand side of my screen. So this is your order panel. And at the moment this trade is going against us. And say for instance you just, you know, it's getting a bit too heavy. I just want to maybe take out half my position, which is not necessarily something I would typically do in this situation, but I just want to show you how to do this. Similarly, if we were in profit, if you wanted to, to lock in some profits, it's the same process. Now we're, we're currently in a buy, so we're hoping the price is going to go up. Um, so to, to take some off the table, you just, what you need to do is you need to sell some of the position. Um, so we're going to do it as a market and this time we're going to sell and we've currently got 10 open. Let's say we want to take five off the table. So you just want to do a market order selling five units and press sell. By doing that, you'll notice that the, that has changed our current position. So we now only have five contracts open, um, which is pretty simple. So that's effectively how you take partials. Um, and that's, that's pretty much as complicated as it is. So hopefully that was informative. If you want to close that order panel again, you just press that button and it closes it out. I'm going to close this trade because it's once again, it's a demo trade, no big deal. Close it out. And all orders or all, all of the open orders are now closed. So that was a very short, sharp um, lesson on how to link your Tradeovate account to TradingView so that you can do on order, sort of on chart ordering, uh, buying and selling, etc. within TradingView. So I hope you enjoyed that and until next time, bye for now.